Hey data fans, Reed here. Now I know some of you over the years have figured out interesting ways, including myself, to be able to create buttons that had an active and inactive effect. Being able to see basically two different toggles where if you click it, it is visibly showing that this button has been activated versus deactivated. Now in the past, you would have to do things with creating two versions of the same button and layering and everything else. But more recently, and by recently I mean a couple years ago, they came out with a bookmark navigator button. Now there's a feature built into this. It's a little bit hidden that I'm gonna show you how to use to actually make a really easy toggle selection to basically have a single button with an on and off setting for it without having to do any extra buttons or layering or anything else that would otherwise be a little bit more complicated. So using this feature, it's gonna be a lot easier. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So to start with, let's see the intended effect that I'm trying to achieve. Basically, I have a button here that when you hover over it, it has the standard hover effects that we're used to seeing on buttons with various colors to represent an on hover and on press. Now when I click it, it basically stays active, but then if I click it again, it deactivates and resets, so to speak. Now to achieve this, what I actually used is the bookmark navigator button. That can be found by coming up to insert and under the button section here, we actually have a navigator button specifically for bookmark navigator. That was the one that I created. So this button here, if I select it, so I'm gonna come over to the bookmark properties for the bookmark navigator button and open it up. And you can see here that I have it pointed to the bookmark group where I actually have two bookmarks. Now the goal of this video is not to walk through how to create the bookmarks, but essentially I have two different bookmarks made. One that filters the page, one that clears the slicers back out. Now, with this being assigned, that just means that this group are the only two bookmarks that get assigned to this bookmark navigator button that is sitting on my page, but the magic comes in from the option to allow deselection. So with this on, there is a launch on deselection. So basically, when I click the button again to unselect a particular filter, I can specify what other bookmark basically gets activated when I want to change the toggle on that button. And furthermore, notice that the hide deselection is turned on. If I turn this off, now over here on the left, you can see that both of those bookmarks inside of that group are showing. With this turned back on, essentially the cleared slicer remains hidden as a deselection process for this bookmark navigator button. So when I activate it, as you can see on the right, it activates the filtered slicer bookmark. If I click it again, it activates the cleared slicer. It goes back to unchecked, so the achieved effect for this single button here is it's a navigator experience, but it allows us to create, quote unquote, a single button on the page with a active and inactive visibility settings. So it's quite useful in that regard. But essentially all you really need to do is have a group in your bookmarks pane where you've created two bookmarks for essentially an on and off version of that button that you would want to be able to toggle. And after that, make sure that deselection's turned on You've had the off or deactivated status for your deselection specified here. And then last but not least, making sure that the deselection bookmark is being hidden. But overall, as you can see, the process for this now just requires two bookmarks instead of one, but otherwise you would have had to create two versions of the same button. Previously, when I had done this in videos, I would layer those together. You'd have to toggle the visibility of the two versions of that same button in the same location. So the process, at least historically, used to be a lot more difficult. So this, to me, has drastically increased the ability to do this much easier and to be able to utilize the bookmark navigator, so to speak, but only for a single button when you want two versions of that button to be active or inactive on a page. So hopefully this is something you found useful. If you like this video, as always, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, drop that down into the comments below, as well as any implementations or use cases that you might have or an idea for a future video. Otherwise, don't forget to check out our videos here in the upper left for any related content. And as always, I will see you in my next video.